You know, I've got an overabundance of nest predators. And some would say I've got an overabundance of Magnum rimfire rifles from Henry. They look identical, but they're really not. This one is chambered in 22 Winchester Magnum rimfire, and this one's chambered in 17 Hornady Magnum rimfire. And each one has its own strengths and weaknesses. And in this video, we're gonna see which one of them would be most helpful in dealing with my other overabundance. George here, and welcome to Tales from Target Suite, where I'll share my perspective on guns and shooting, and we'll have an adventure or two that will make even a grown man smile. And I am smiling and thankful that, uh, thankful to Henry Repeating Arms for sending these two guns. This is the H001TM, the H001TV, and I have the H001T, all three rifles in the series of Octagon Frontier. And, um, Great guns, I'm gonna show you a close up here in just a minute. But first, let's do some shooting. 22 WMR, 22 mag. <laughs> all right, now let me play a close up of all three of those guns. They sure are nice. So why do I care about nest predators? Well, I blame it on modern country living where people leave uh, food out at night for their pets. There's human trash that gets left around and there's deer feeders that people put out, I know. And it all results in an overabundance of food that supports an overabundance of raccoons. But still you'd ask, why do I care? Well, we are trying to get a, a, a population of turkeys established here. They've been struggling for about five years since they showed up. And I know one thing, come springtime, this overabundance of raccoons is gonna be stealing their eggs. It's going to be grabbing uh, chicks and poults out of the roost, taking them home for dinner, if you know what I mean. And we're just trying to bring things into balance a little bit. But right now, let's shoot the 17 HMR. <laughs> and before I move on, I just want to say the 17 HMR is a neck down version of the 22 Magnum cartridge. And so uh, if you've got both guns on the table, you have to be extra careful to not get these 17 HMR rounds chambered into the 22 Magnum because they will fit. And uh, you just don't ever want to do that. So if you're like me and you've got them both on the table, use extra caution with your ammo management. Now this video is not gonna be about which one of these guns can shoot best at 100 yards or 150 yards. That, that content's been worn out on YouTube. And that doesn't fit my management scenario anyway, because I'll be shooting mostly in the evening, late evening, and, and I'll be shooting at fairly close range. And so I need to find out which one of these cartridges and the ammo that's available is gonna do, be the most humane in those, in those conditions. And the only tool that I have at my disposal is not cans of Mountain Dew and water-filled milk jugs. It's actually ballistic gel. Okay, I was way too ambitious on my first attempt when I tried to get nine different kinds of ammo tested in one block of gel, at least the width of one block of gel. But what I did learn in that initial test is that the 17 HMR was a little bit too explosive at short range, and it didn't give enough penetration for raccoons that can easily get to 20 pounds or more, depending on how many, uh, how many porches they found filled with dog food. And those hyper-velocity uh, 22 Magnum rounds uh, that are up in the 22, 2250 feet per second range, they were a little inconsistent in penetration 
and the mass of their bullets, um, it just it wasn't ideal. So I did what uh, any YouTuber is going to do. I made a decision and I picked four types of ammo. I picked three types of uh, 22 Magnum ammo. One was the what I would call a standard velocity um, around 1900 feet per second, a jacketed hollow point from CCI. Their CCI Varmint Maxi Mag. And then I picked two, believe it or not, uh, two personal protection 22 Magnum rounds. One was the Federal Punch and one was Hornady's Critical Defense 22 WMR. And uh, all three, all three of those showed promise in that first ballistic gel. And right now I want to show you a, the testing that actually matters for this video. It's different than you've seen, at least I think, anywhere on YouTube. And it was very informative and I learned something that was really surprising. Let's take a look at that. Let me run through the keys really quick for you. Of course, this is the 17 HMR Federal Premium 17 grain VMAX bullet. At 25 yards, it was traveling 2491 feet per second. It penetrated six inches of depth. At 50 yards, it was traveling at 2344 feet per second. It penetrated seven and a half inches. You know, in all of our testing with 17 HMR, we found there just wasn't enough bullet mass left to justify using that round at close range on things like nest predators. The distance of penetration from 25 yards was always substantially sh shorter than the uh, distance penetrated from 50 yards. All right, let me show you the rest of those blocks now. Okay, here's the CCI, the 22 Magnum CCI Maxi Mag. Now this one was a little bit of a problem because our initial 25 yard shot did really well at 12 and a half inches, there it is. But then all of our shots at 50 yards penetrated completely all the way through. And so I actually shot a last shot from the house, a little range up there, and that shot pented, uh, penetrated, this is at 50 yards, it penetrated right at 12 inches. So again, 50 yard or 25 yard velocity was 1721 versus 1584 at 50 and the penetration was 12 inches from 25 yards and 16 inches from 50 yards. Okay, this one is beautiful. This is the first of our personal defense rounds. It's a 22 mag Hornady critical defense with a 45 grain FTX bullet. You can see the 25 yard velocity and the 25 yard penetration. You can see the 50 yard velocity and the 50 yard penetration. Very nice. Another really nice performer. This is the 22 mag Federal Punch, 45 grain jacketed hollow point, another personal defense load. And you can see the 25 yard velocity and the 25 yard penetration, the 50 yard velocity and the 50 yard penetration. And those bullets along with the Hornady critical defense really held up well. I'll show you all of the bullets right now.
So what's my take on the H001TM and the H001TV from Henry? First of all, thanks again, Henry, for sending those over along with the uh, other guns you sent. But uh, I like them. I was uh, impressed by how smooth they are. I've heard a lot about that. And they are indeed very smooth for, um, for lever guns. The uh, fit and finishes, for the price point, the fit and finish is really nice. And the wood is excellent. It's all walnut. This one and the... Uh, and the 8001T 22 long rifle, they have some really nice figured walnut. So uh, great guns. And you know what? If I, unless I'm mistaken, they are the only two, Henry makes the only two Magnum rimfire lever guns outside, inside of the US. And the only other manufacturer I could find is in Italy. If you know of some other guns that are manufactured in these two great Magnum rimfire cartridges, you let me know. These are fantastic guns to shoot. And uh, yeah, the ammo is a little bit more expensive, but so much more capable. And with that said, let's talk about which one of these is going to be my go-to gun when it comes to, uh, to nest predator control. And the answer is the 22 Magnum. And that's because it just carries more energy downrange. It gets good mushroom at a short distance, even at 50 yards, the uh, two personal defense rounds, the ones from Hornady with the FTX bullet and the Federal Punch. Uh, they gave good mushroom and good penetration. So that's the kind of ammo that I need to take into the field for, you know, anything less than 50 yards, 50 yards or less. Now, would those, would that ammo be good at 75 yards? We didn't test that because that's not my scenario here for these guns. But uh, I love the 17 HMR it has its place and it's just not shooting raccoons um, close up. Um, and we are, gonna do, we are gonna make a ton of content with this gun and this gun as well. Uh, a lot more content with them. Um, they're so much fun. I did get, uh, I ordered a, um, a, a rail adapter so I can put a pick rail, um, I can put a scope on this gun and that gun. We can do, do some, um, some accuracy testing. I'd really like to know just the stuff that I did uh, off camera on steel said both of these guns are very capable. And I will say this, if you order these guns, the TM version, I mean the T version, this octagonal front frontier series has semi buckhorn sights. And uh, let me just put it this way. They are really hard on my, for my eyes to resolve. So if you get any of the other non-octagonal guns, I believe they come with a more traditional open sight. And uh, I'm guessing they would be easier to use than these. These are really tough for my eyes. But other than that, great guns, glad to have them. We've got a lot of work to do. Again, thanks, Henry. And I'll see all of y'all in the next video.